Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. My name is Michelle, and for today's video, let's do a 2023 planner setup for my half lighter disc bound planner inside of my Louis Vuitton desk agenda cover. We have a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So again, I have the Louis Vuitton desk agenda cover, and this one is in monogram canvas. I really just love the half letter setup, so I'm really happy that I did go with this type of planner just because it's so easy to get in and out of this um, planner um, because of just like the discs. And then um, I don't really have any wear right over here because I heard people who have like the rings, um, they experience some kind of like a dent right over here, but I, I don't have that, so yeah. Anyways, so here on this side of my planner, I have some stickers. Um, I don't think she makes stickers anymore, but this one was from Leslie, and I have just a lot of different types of stickers here, like meeting, um, these little icons, dog paw, like a workout one, Instagram, payday, these types of stickers um, that I use on occasion, but I honestly just really like to write in my planner. Um, and if I have like something that's like sticker worthy, I want to use them. Um, but I don't use stickers that often in my, in my planner. Next I have the Ibiza drops and then the nude dots. And these ones are from cloth and paper. And then I'm going to be filling this one out, but it's a planner owner card. Um, and it's from Infinite Lotus. So here you can write, if it would like to focus, um, you can write your name, contact information, and then like a little memo, um, part right over here. And then this is a little planner card. And then this what are these things called? Um, Ollie, Ollie blocks? Um, these ones, this one is from Cloth and Paper, and I love it because it matches the aesthetic of my, my planner. And I also have this one too, which is like a leopard, and these are really great just because, um, they don't leave, like, any indents on your paper, like what a normal paper clip, um, could do, so... Yeah, I, I really just love these. And then over here, I have these discs from Cloth and Paper. I think these are the one inch or the one and a half inch. Um, I'll probably put it right over here, but yeah. Um, I, I like having this size in here because it's so easy to like flip through and it's just enough so like my planner is not overflowing, as you can see here. Um, but first up I have here, this is the transparent cover from Infinite Lotus. It's for 2022. I just haven't taken it out yet because the, <laughs> the year isn't over. So I still have this in here. And then I have this inbox dashboard. This one is from, I believe, cloth and paper. Yep. And this one is transparent as you can see here. And then at the front of my planner, I have um, the daily habits sheet and this one is from Infinite Lotus. This one is new to my agenda and I'm really excited to try this one out just because I used to have the one from cloth and paper um, and I like that one but I just didn't kind of like how I had to write in each of the days of the month. Um, so I think this one would be really cool and because it also breaks down the daily habits for all day, morning, afternoon, and also the nighttime. So I really like that. And this one is also double sided. And then next we have a to do list and this one is from the line shop. And I really like this because it's broken up into three different types of to do's. So you have your must do's, to do's, and nice to do's. And I love using this for like the whole month so that I can keep track of like things that I need to do um, throughout the month in case I have something that I need to keep on my radar. Next, um, let's see, I have my first divider and my dividers are also from cloth and paper. It's really nice that I don't have to continuously buy like, you know, dividers and stuff. Um, because honestly, when you first get like a planner, it's really expensive to set up, especially a half letter disc bound. Cause you have to buy the discs, you have to buy the inserts, you have to buy the dividers and all of these different accessories. But after you're done setting it up, like it's so much more cheaper to to kind of like set up your planner um, in the coming years so yeah just something to keep in mind um, so yeah first we have the schedule tab and in here I have um, this 2023 uh, what I call it's like a cover sheet for the whole month it's exactly the same one that I have here in the front um, and this one's from infinite lotus 
Um, I forgot which one it is, but this is the quarterly, I think, overview for the year. Um, and I decided to get this one because it included this dashboard. Um, because I didn't want to buy the transparent one by itself. And I just wanted to buy this one by itself. I bought this one because it included the dashboard. And, um, I didn't want to buy just, like, this dashboard by itself. But I also wanted to buy these inserts. So, yeah, it was a nice two-for-one kind of, kind of deal. So, I have this 2023 dashboard. And then here... Um, I have kind of like an overview for the whole whole month and um, here we have some lines so that I can keep track of whatever I want to for for that month and then over here it has a 2023 vision so in this section we have some top goals and then here I have three different kind of lists so I can either do it by like type of list or I can also do it by by quarter so I I, I really just love this insert and I'll link everything down below um, and by the way if you're interested in any of the inserts that I got from Infinite Lotus, um, I do have a discount code with them, and my discount code is Michelle8off8, and I'll be sure to link everything down below. So next I have these monthly overviews, and I only put in three months, so I only put January, February, and March, and then I'll continue to add um, more months as the year goes on, but here I have January, and I decided to go with the blanks because I just like the freedom to write wherever. Um, and this one is from Tool, and it's a kind of like place marker in the planner, and I love this one because it's so sturdy, um, and also it's really great for making lines because it's also just so sturdy. And actually, let me check how long these um, discs are, and these ones are the one inch disc, so now we know. Alright, so we have January, February and March and on the back of each of the overviews we have one two three so here you can break it up into three different priorities um, we have important dates and then we also have these four kind of like to-do list here so you can break up them into like personal business and then whatever kind of to-do list you want to do Next I have these vertical dividers and I love these because I can kind of divide um, what's in my horizontal dividers. So here I have another dashboard and it says time is a creative thing. To say I don't have time is to say I don't want to and I just love this for my schedule section because um, here now I start off with like my weekly and my daily overviews. So. But first, I have my morning mindset, and I really love this for um, thinking about what I want to do for the day and for, like, the week, because um, it has some really great questions here to kind of reflect on. I have the Today dashboard, and I just really love this one because it's so large, and it says Today at the very top, and then you can use, like, some stickies and then stick them right over here. Um, and then I have some weekly overviews that I want to start using, and these ones, I believe, are the weekly hourly. Um, and I love them because they go by hour here, and then we have a little section here for priorities, memo, and a to-do list. So yeah, I have a few of those in here, um, and I wanted to try these ones out first, but I do have a lot of other inserts in my collection that I'm just going to pull from throughout the year. So next I have the list section, and here I have, I believe this is the magazine cover, um, and I bought this apparently in spring summer 2020, um, and got this one from cloth and paper. And then here I have the to-do list with grid, I believe, or what is it called? The list with grid, I don't remember, but here on top it has the months and then the date and then also we have a to list where you can put like either like a date and then you can check it off um but i just love having grid paper in my planners just because i just love to kind of brain dump and then just write whatever i want um so yeah i i'm that type of person who likes to just like jot things down and i just need grid paper or line paper whatever it may be. So in this section, I have all of those types of inserts. And in the next one, I have another top divider. This one is note paper. And then I have my next side divider. And this one says projects. And then here I have my world clock dashboard. I believe this one is from cloth and paper. Yep. Um, and then I have these project 
um, inserts and these ones are from Infinite Lotus and I wanted to try these ones out for the different projects that I'm taking on. So here it says um, you can write down the project name, the start date, due date, budget, cost, and then mark if it was completed. Write down some objectives and then again have a great place to kind of brain dump and just like brainstorm like all of my ideas for the project. So yeah, I have a few of those in here. And then after the next top divider, I have some lined paper. And these ones are from Infinite Lotus. And then another top divider. And I have some grid paper. And then on my next side divider, this one says finances. I have another dashboard. This one says it is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. And I have a couple of um, a financial inserts and these ones are I think all from Infinite Lotus but I have the financial overview which is really nice um, and here we have um, the months so you can circle which month it was right in the year and then write in the different kind of income so what type of source it was from forecasted and how much you actually made and then here you can write down um, your expenses and category forecasted in actual and then this one's a little bit different. So this one's just straight up expenses. And then here you can write in the month, the date, what did you buy, and then how much did it cost. And sorry, I just realized that the back of this one was a little bit different. So um, we have the financial overview here. And then on the back, um, here you can write down like how much money you saved, um, the final balance. So you can write in your income, the expenses, the savings, and then ending balance, and then write in any notes that you have for like that month. Um, so I have this one, this one, and then I have some grid paper here to kind of make more notes in case I want to. And then I have this goal and ideas tab. And then I have this dashboard here that says it's good to have an end to journey toward, but it's the journey that matters in the end. And that's by Ernest Hemingway. And then I remember getting this one from the line and it came inside of like a goals type of goal packet. I don't remember. Um, but I love this because it's a great reminder. And then this one, it's kind of a little placeholder from Infinite Lotus. Um, but I wouldn't say it's the best. I definitely would recommend the other one that I have just because it is far more sturdy as you can see here this one's just so much more flimsy um so that's why it's back here because i'm not going to be moving it as often um and this one i don't feel like you can make a line that easy since it's just so thin and just basically very thin and too flexible um but yeah this one is from infinite lotus but it's going to get the job done of what i need going on here. Um, so here I have um, a couple of quarterly overviews that kind of I think are from this from this yeah from these inserts. Um, so I have a Q1 2023 so I have January, February, March and then on the back I have a Q1 review where I can write in accomplishments, improvements, and then a note section. And then I have that for each of the different quarters. So Q2, Q3, and also Q4. And I love that. And I think that's just all I basically need. Hold on. Let me, let me answer this phone call. Okay, so we're back on. Last but not least, I have my miscellaneous tab. And then over here, I just keep some uh, grid paper. And then in this back cover, I don't really keep anything. It's just usually just empty. So yeah, that is basically my half letter disbound setup for 2023. Um, it is pretty simple and this is what works for me. I don't really like to have too much in here, um, but yeah. I really love the disbound setup just because it's so easy to literally take things in and out um, and so easy to flip through and honestly I I think it's the best kind of planner so yeah anyways thank you so much for watching this video I know it was a pretty long one but there was just so much to go through um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and again if you're interested I do have a discount code with infinite lotus that's where a majority of my planner inserts are from um, and the code again is Michelle Adolf 8 so yeah that basically is my 2023 planner setup thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>